Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Recap. Y'all read the title. I am recapping Sister Season 6, Episode 17, Taste of Freedom today. Y'all, before we get into this video, <laughs> I want to apologize for being gone for so long, child. Life be life in. And as y'all can hear, I have a cold. So I've been trying to get over that. I think it's, it's at the end of this course. I hope it is. But I just child <laughs> i just want to apologize so i'm a little behind on stuff um i'm two episodes behind on sisters i've come to the conclusion that i wasn't going to be recapping basketball wives orlando anymore if y'all watched my previous episode um episode recap i recorded that when um probably about two weeks ago i just never uploaded it <clears throat> And then I don't think I'll do the Oval anymore. Y'all love Sisters content over here. And I'm going to give y'all what y'all love the most. So I think I'm going to just stick to Sisters and Zatima. And I'll try to recap all the Queen's men when it comes back on. And see how y'all like that content. But, yeah. Let's just get into the nitty gritty of this episode. It's going to be real cute and short. Okay. So we start this episode with Preston walking up on Danny and Tony's conversation. Now, what I gathered from this conversation was Danny um, beating around the bush per usual, okay? But it's funny how Danny can be real and keep it a honey when it comes down to everyone else's problems or business but her own, okay? Like, child, she, Danny is a friend to everyone but herself. So, I don't want to see Preston go, but I'm honestly tired of Danny stringing this man along. Literally, like, at some point, we got to let this go. At some point. Like, like I said in a previous episode, I mean, recap or previous rant, put Preston over there to the team. Because at this point, it's, 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 it's slowing down with him and Danny. And I don't want to see Preston leave. I love Preston. Um. So, next, we have Sabrina, Andy, and Maurice. Talk about the case being dismissed. Baby Maurice was dogging Andy out per usual, though. But it was just, <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> but uh, Maurice reminds me of Dr. Heavenly from Married to Medicine, if y'all ever watch. He reminds me so much of her. Um, <laughs> Andy is in her feelings about Jordan not calling her. And she told Sabrina if he doesn't call, she's not going to the barbecue chair. So, yeah, she being a little, well, I mean, I understand, you know, he calls. So, I don't fault Andy for feeling it, that type of way, but I digress. Fatima and Zach are, um, they talk to the lawyer about baby Michael and getting custody. Apparently, there haven't been any welfare reports, but the neighbor says she had been calling. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all keep clearing my throat. So, um, the neighbor said she had been calling the welfare people like every week, every day. Nobody came out there, but she been calling. And the man said, you know, there's been no reports. So, what's re <laughs> this? This is some type of scheme. I don't know. Like, I just feel like so, like these people all working together with Hayden. I don't know. That's just me. I, it's something not right with this whole situation. But anywho, as Fatima and Zach were leaving out from talking to the lawyer, um, Hayden walks up. He wants Zach and Fatima to meet his wife and child. Um, I honestly think they, um, him and Tamara going to stay together. They really mean, <laughs> they really are meant for each other. Honestly, they both scheming and scamming. So, hey. Um, and Hayden actually says that Fatima knows Tamara. He's like, I think you know Tamara. And I'm like, huh, do he know that she set him up with him? Like, do she? Do he know the scheme that is going on? I don't know. Hayden a little slow, though. I, I don't know. Yeah, Hayden a little slow, chat. But anywho, Zach, Zach throws his sarcastic shots at Hayden. Y'all know the dynamic between those two. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. So back at the airport, Sabrina calls Danny with the good news. <clears throat> so Danny 
was a little dry on the phone and Sabrina catches on. And then it talks about how Preston was popping up at her job today. And then once they got off the phone, Tony walks up asking Danny um what happened with Preston. Side eye. I mean, Tony just I don't know. Tony he a little, a little off in a way. I just I know I said, you know, they would be cute together, but Tony just is a little side eye. Like I have to side eye Tony. Cause the van, the the Scooby Doo mystery van, and the the knowing too much about me and I ain't told you about me. Yeah, I don't know. But anywho, he asked what happened with Preston. Then he mentions he was expecting Preston to be, um, he wasn't expecting Preston to be white, basically. Um, yeah, he was, he was, they went on this little, little conversation rant about how, um, well, he did. He started talking about how he was, he expected Danny to want a black man. And then Danny said Preston was cute. And basically, uh, maybe they do belong together. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pro Black. Okay. Um, it was just, I didn't, I don't know. That conversation was like a uh, ick. It was like, mm, did we really need that? It's kind of cringy. Um, but anywho, <clears throat> we at, back at the office with Fatima. And Andy, and Fatima's letting Andy know she is about to leave. They briefly talk about the custody here, and then Jordan finally calls Andy because in the previous scene, Sabrina had not Sabrina, Danny had told Tony that Jordan hadn't called Andy, so he called Jordan to tell her him to call Andy. There's so much. <laughs> so, um, Andy is being stubborn, so Fatima answers the phone. And she pretends like, oh, she's, well, she does her job. She's like, oh, this is Andy's assistant, Mrs. Boy, you have a call, la, la, la. So Andy tries to make it seem like um, she made other plans, but Fatima shuts that down, okay? They, um, Andy tried to say, oh, well, I have dinner with a client, something like that. And Fatima quickly comes in and saves the day and says, oh, Miss Barnes, you're such and such a clock um canceled so you're free <laughs> that was kind of funny but anywho so jordan also expresses how he was afraid to call because he is so scared of rejection um yeah or whatever <laughs> so i actually like jordan out of all the men the all three men i actually like jordan i mean we don't really know much about rich tony is very much scooby-doo mystery van creep you know side eye um but yeah i like jordan anyway so we're at sabrina's house sabrina meets with bio she asks if he got his money back for maurice bio asked to go out and celebrate because uh, sabrina told him that you know they were uh free but Sabrina says she's booked and busy, child. Now, I do have to disagree with Sabrina. I mean, like, I, I get, well, Bayou was, Bayou, child. Lord, this is not out of Queens, man. Bayou was coming from, when he started dogging her out, I get that. Because, girl, the least you could have did was go out to eat with this man and celebrate. And then you could have broke it off. But no. So, she don't want nothing to do with him after he treated Maurice. But, in a sense, he still gave the money to help Maurice. So, what person you know that got that type of money just going to give it to you if they feel some type of way about your friend? So, obviously, he still helped the brother. So, I don't know. I would have still went out, even though, you know, if I would have felt some type of way about Bio. Woot the woot, and I didn't want to deal with. I still would have said, okay, well, let's go out, you know, let's go out to eat, woot, whatever, and celebrate. And then that would have been the end of that, you know. But child, I don't blame Bio for. Go oh lord, yeah, Bio for going off on um Sabrina. Child, he called her trifling and other names, 
And as he was leaving, I think he said the B word. And Danny what was walking in. Because <clears throat> Sabrina had opened the door for him to leave. And Danny was like, who a B? Who a B? <laughs> but yeah. So she basically, Danny tells, once Bayo leaves, she tells Sabrina to basically let him go. Because Rich is waiting on her. But here Danny is. Went straight to Sabrina's house. Because she doesn't want to go home and talk to Kristen. You're going to go in your friend's apartment and try to find some clothes there because you are too afraid to go home and talk to your man about what happened today. Your man is at home waiting for you to have a conversation with him about what happened today. Instead of you going home after work to get ready for another night out with another man and talk to your man about what's been going on. You go to your friend's house to dodge that bullet. It's, oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. So, next we have Karen. She's tiptoeing around Zach's house, bringing um, a box of stuff for baby Michael. Zach walks out, and they start talking about what's been going on with baby Michael. And I honestly like this Karen, and I hope she stays this way. Period. That's all I got to say about that. I, I really hope Karen stays like this. <laughs> like, Tiggy P, do not miss... T Karen is healing. Don't mess up, please. So, the girls are ready for their date night with the guys. Andy says something about Danny's shoes, which are Sabrina's. Danny tells Andy why she didn't get dressed at home. That was the end of that. So, then we have Fatima. She comes home and mentions Karen to see if Zach would tell her why she was there. Zach, of course, tells her, and they start talking about baby Michael. That was the end of that. Nothing, nothing special. Karen, baby Michael, same dynamic. Um, so now we're at Jordan's house. The ladies make it to Jordan's house, and the guys greet them. They make their way to the backyard, and child, the ladies are getting ready to sit down at the table. Jordan takes Andy over to the bar part and that's when jordan introduces gary and andy baby both their faces was on the floor <laughs> both their faces were on the floor i love to see it i love to see it um i actually that episode was okay i gave it like a seven the only thing i liked about this episode was the ending because the ending was setting the tone for the next episode which I actually loved. So I'll be posting that recap um, later on today. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Press that bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a new video because it be random. And y'all make sure y'all comment down below how y'all feel about it, how y'all felt about it, what did y'all think about it, even though I'm late, y'all. Just interact with your girl. It's been a minute. I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Peace.